Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, as usual, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, again we get to study your Word so that we might learn more about you and your Son Jesus and your ways. And as we study today, I pray that you will open our hearts and minds, our eyes and our ears, that we might be able to receive from you the way that you want us to be in this world, what you want us to know. And Lord, that you by your Holy Spirit would empower us to live according to those things we learn. And we'll give you thanks for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Children of Abraham. And it's taken from the book of Galatians chapter 3 and verse 7. As Paul the Apostle continues his dis discourse on why the church members at Galatia were saved by grace and not by keeping the law, he used the example of Abraham who believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. In chapter 3 and verse 7 of Galatians, we discover how we who are of faith like Abraham, where Paul wrote, Know therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Paul begins this verse with no therefore. Whenever we see a therefore in the Bible, we should always consider what it is there for. Therefore refers to a conclusion that is made based upon what has previously been stated. Paul told the Galatians that Abraham believed the promise of God, and he did so without having to keep the law. The law wasn't given yet, and although there was some form of rule that was implemented during Abraham's day, Abraham simply heard what God said and believed him. When he did so, God counted Abraham righteous. Paul desires that the church members of Galatia know therefore or conclude based upon Abraham's example that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Like the example of Abraham, those who simply believe the finished work of Jesus Christ for salvation are the children of Abraham. Abraham believed, and it was counted to him for righteousness. When we believe, it is counted to us as righteousness. We are offspring of Abraham's example. It seems so simple, and it is. It seems so easy, and it is. The grace of God is abundant, free, obtainable, and available to all who will simply believe God as Abraham did. We who believe are the children of Abraham. And although it may not be in physical lineage as some, in spiritual lineage we are his prodigy. The cost for God's grace was high, but Jesus paid that cost. The process for God's grace was difficult, but Jesus went through that process. The implementation of God's grace is finished, and God made it available to all who, as Abraham, simply believe. May we all come to be they which are of faith, and therefore become the children of Abraham. Next time we will discover how God used Abraham to justify the heathen. So read ahead and let us join together then. Until tomorrow there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.